Hello and welcome to a special episode from our series on the rare books here in the Iron Library. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this. Uh, this is the library's first edition copy of Isaac Newton's uh, Principia. And uh, it is perhaps one of the most famous books in the history of science. And uh, this one has a very fascinating provenance. First published in 1687, this book revolutionized science with mathematical descriptions of the physical laws of motion and law of universal gravitation. To quote Einstein, Newton's work presented perhaps the greatest intellectual stride that has ever been granted to any man to make. A first edition of Principia would be fascinating in and of itself, were it not also for its provenance. Um, the earliest identifiable owner of this book is the uh, Salesian Society for Patriotic Culture, the stamp of whom can be seen here. Next to it is a stamp saying doublet, so indicating that the society had two copies, which perhaps led to this copy being removed from their holdings and led to it being acquired by Jan Evangelista Perkinia. Perkinia, an anatomist and physiologist, is not generally well known nowadays, but in his time he was so well known that an envelope simply addressed Perkinia Europe would reach him. From Perkinia, the book passed to Ernst Mach, as indicated by this note on the title page accompanied down the page by a signature of Mach in the same hand, as well as his library stamp. And the Iron Library acquired this book in 1955 from the widow of Mach's son, Ludwig. So in terms of the history of the ideas contained within Principia, Mach's ownership of a first edition copy is particularly noteworthy. Mach is increasingly being noted in the history of science for his work criticizing Newton, especially the Newtonian concept of mass. This work paved the way for Einstein's theories of relativity and Max Planck's quantum theory in the early 1900s, which affected physics as dramatically in their time as the publication of Principia did in the 17th century. And for his work, Mack went back to Newton's earliest printed iterations of his ideas. And uh, we know this because there are actually underlinings and annotations to be read in the book. Um, there is underscoring in red, which can also be found in another book owned by Mack and now also in the Iron Library, uh, which is this. It's a 1672 edition of Otto von Guericke's uh, experiments with vacuums. In Max Principia, there is underscoring of Newton's discussion of his deviating observations on the speed of sound. And Max's involvement in the physics of sound later led to a unit, the Mach unit, being named after him. Perhaps more significant, however, are the short handwritten notes. They're not deeply scientific commentary, but terse and even dismissive in tone. So Mac comments, for instance, on Newton's formulation of his second law of motion with one word, tautology. While well, the next to the third law of motion, he writes that it has no systematic role. Another states, gibt es nicht, does not exist. So these notes, his marginalia and the underlinings, they really give an insight into the personality of Mack as a researcher at a time when he formulated a critique that was to set Felix on a world-changing path, making this not only a book of high bibliophilic value, but also a very remarkable source uh, for the history of science. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting. Uh, if you'd like to look at the book for yourself, it's been recently fully digitized and it's available online at the ERA project. Uh, just check the link down below. Or if you like, you can always come by in person. Just remember to book in advance.